Beat selection is one of the features that makes Beat Edit very flexible and very powerful. So no matter whether you want to create beat markers here or whether you want to repeat keyframes or stagger something or if you want to use a beat wiggle, whatever, all those functions either work with markers or with only the selected beats. So if you want something to not react on every beat, then you either just select specific beats and then apply the function directly on the selected beats or then you generate markers, which again will only happen for the selected beats. And then all functions you apply to those markers, obviously also just use the selected beats. So therefore beat selection is like a first step that you often do before applying some other function of beat edit to make sure whatever you do with the music, it only reacts to those beats you selected and not to all of them. So for the beat selection, we have this panel here. Um, and essentially you need to read this line here to understand the entire function. Currently it says in the entire song I want to select exactly one beat every one beats evenly select. And if we click here somewhere in the song and click play. Oh. Maybe let me make some music here a little bit uh, uh, less loud. So you can control here the volume of the music itself and here the volume of the clicks. Or disable it entirely by clicking here. And these clicks now show the selected beats. And if we now say we want to select one beat every four beats, for example, and we click select, you can see all of them turn dark except for every fourth one. And if we, if we listen to it, you can also hear this. That's only they have a, a loud click, only the selected beats, okay? Now, if you say, I want to select every fourth beat, but not this one, but actually here, the one before, you can just click somewhere here, so that the playhead moves there, and click select, and I click here, and click select, and you can see it always selects the beat that is most nearby to the position where I clicked, or to the current position of the playhead. This even works while the music is playing, so you, if you want to select a specific beat, you can play the music and then click select at this point, at this beat that you want to include. So let's say we want to select every fourth beat, like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and we just want to select the one. Let's play back and count, and then click in the right moment. One, two, three, four, one, two. Now you can see we have already the one selected. If we now would want to select the three instead of the one, we could count and then click during a three. One, two, three, four, one, two, click. And now I clicked on the three, and now we've selected the three. Yeah. So it's a very convenient way to select beats to say I click at the beat that I want and um, you can s select here if you want every fourth beat or maybe just every eighth beat or whatever. Um, you can also select beats randomly, then this number changes to two numbers. So it says select randomly every one to four beats. If I click select, you can see now sometimes beats are very close together and sometimes there are up to f three beats in between not selected, such that every fourth beat selected, yeah? So this is like allowing you to create a bit more variation also, you can say, I want to just add to the selection or remove from the selection. So this makes mostly sense if you want to refine individual regions. If you say, okay, in this region, there are too many. So you can select this region. And then you can say, in the highlighted region, um, remove from the selection evenly one beat every one beats, for example, which essentially means any beat. Now you can see here are no beats anymore. And um, if you want to like reset everything, you can just say in the entire song, select exactly one beat every one beat evenly and you're back to your original I selected everything. What's also sometimes the case here in this song, it starts with some kind of intro that essentially has no beats at all. Let, let me just show it to you. Uh, so let me just listen to it. You can see there's really no, no beat at all. If I would turn off the beats that beat edit generated and you listen to it and I would ask you, please clap your hands and sync with the music. This way I'm sure it's pretty unclear what to do, yeah? There is really no beat here until... Oh, 
one, two, three, four, one, two. Now you have a beat, and this beat is again properly detected by Beat Edit if we enable it here. Yeah, but in this first part that has essentially no beat, beat that it still does its best to detect something and comes up with some beats that are essentially total nonsense because there is no beat pattern here. So if you just want to get rid of this and say, I don't want to use any beats in this region at all, you can just select it and say, in highlighted region, remove from selection one beat every one beats. And now this part is completely the beats are gone and only after this part, Now our proper beats start. Yeah. Now if you would generate markers for this, for example, you would not have any irritating markers in this area here. Okay, that's beat selection. And uh, one last thing I want to show you about this is a subdivision feature, which allows you to say, I want to have more, more peaks here, so or more clicks, which you can say two, and now uh, here without. with two and you can even go crazy and say four yeah which gives you plenty of peaks and this is in particular interesting i think if you use the beat wiggle and there is another special tutorial just about explaining how to create complex patterns with a beat wiggle and there you want to do something like on each single beat first move to the right and then move up and then maybe do something else and so if you just have lots of peaks then you can do all of this one after another at a single beat if you have like four of those clicks at one beat by setting the B subdivision feature to four or to, to two for example yeah so yeah that's beat selection here essentially just read these controls from left to right to understand what they are doing and to remove unwanted beats to just select beats a bit more randomly or whatever. Another thing that is very helpful if you want to select a specific number of beats is the beat info panel. Here's this one. It shows you how many beats there are in total and how many of them you have selected. And you can also, as any of those panels, dock it somewhere else in the beat edit user interface so that you have now the selection and the beat info side by side. So this allows you to easily select exactly the number of beats you want to have. And finally, beat selection has this entire section here about adding extra markers. This is a super, super cool and very powerful feature and one of the best things about selecting beats. Actually, if you don't know what this is, you definitely need to know this, but I'm not going to talk about this in this tutorial, but it's so cool that I actually dedicated a separate tutorial on only this feature. So if you don't know what extra markers are, definitely take a look at the next tutorial.